Hey everyone, Mike here at Kipesh3D, and today I am super excited to show you our brand new Houdini and Cargo integration. So whether you're a studio juggling massive libraries, a freelancer on a tight deadline, or a generalist wearing all the hats, you need a way to manage assets quickly and cleanly and without heavy setup. So we completely rebuilt our Houdini importer directly with SideFX. So your workflow is faster, smoother, and fully aligned with industry standard USD practices. And I wanna show you what that looks like. So first, I have Houdini 21 on the left, and I have Cargo on the right. And one of the ways that we have fully featured this importer is we have native Solaris integration. So let us go into Ghost Realm. Let's pick an asset. I have already have a few, but let's do another one. Cool. I'm gonna choose uh, the barrels. Uh, I have Houdini 21 selected, 2K PNGs. I'm gonna download that. Great, it's done downloading. And now I'm gonna import. So when it imports, it's gonna come up with this little window that says generating a preview for cargo asset. This is what's generating thumbnails that are gonna go right into Solaris. So as you can see, it already opened up my asset catalog. I have a few in here, but now we have these really awesome thumbnails. So this is with Solaris. The other thing that it opened up when it, when it did that is after I installed the importer, it already has the cargo importer right here natively in case you wanna use this instead. But native Solaris integration, it went right in here as thumbnails. And with any asset that you import, that's gonna be the same, whether it's um, the models or materials. So let me show you how we look at materials. So what we do here is we go to stage, and then we will get the material linker and that will be dropped in here. So we have the material linker. Let's go to a material. Let's grab, I have these old bricks. Let's grab one more. Yeah, let's do this bone material. So again, Houdini 21, 2K PNGs, let's download that. Great, it has imported. It's importing now with that same message about generating the preview. Fantastic. So we're going to go back to our stage. We got the we got the linker, and then if we go to the material linker up here, we have a catalog and all of the materials are gonna go into the catalog so you can use them in any way that you want. So very easy, they're persistent, they're gonna stay there, and that's the same for the asset catalog. So this is persistent, so you don't have to go hunting for uh, the assets over and over again, you don't have to re-import, super easy. So you can literally, let's uh, get rid of this, and let's, um, the asset catalog, and now that we're in the stage, we can just drag and drop. Really, really easy. Just gonna move myself so we can see a little bit better. So, very quick and easy drag and drop import. Let's do this. Everything's there. Go to our stage. You can see we have these assets. Lovely. So that's how uh, we are working with not only the the stage view here, but with the asset catalog. 
So the other way that we have that you can use uh, that's integrated is actually using the stage manager node, which is really cool, especially especially if you are a technical director and you want to work at scale, this is going to make it very easy. So with the stage manager node, you just go to here, you type in stage manager, drop that in here. And with the stage manager node, that already has the asset catalog associated with it. And so you can just drag and drop, icons a little bit bigger here, right into the scene graph path. So do this, there we go, do this, there we go. Do this. So now this integration is really, really easy. Makes your organization much faster, much easier, and a lot more um, streamlined. So those are the big features that we've introduced into our new Houdini cargo integration, again, built with side effects. Uh, this is going to bring your Houdini workflows in line with the future of USD as well, so that you guys can move faster, stay organized, and create at any scale. Um, thanks, everyone. Have a great rest of your day, and uh, yeah, keep on creating.